Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Hey guys, what's happening? And welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Jamie, and we're here at the 60th floor at the Grand Hyatt in BGC at the peak, where Oppo is giving us a quick look at the, one of their newest phones to launch here in the Philippines, or one of the latest phones that they're going to be launching here in the Philippines. This is the Oppo Reno. Before we begin guys, just a reminder to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Also, we have a giveaway running for the Redmi Note 7. So if you want a chance to win that awesome phone, there's a link in the description down below on how you get a chance to win that device. So without any further ado, let's unbox this thing and show you guys what comes, in, what comes inside the box. So I already unwrapped this thing because I didn't have an unboxing knife and that would be an embarrassing moment me struggling with shrink wrap but anyway I forgot to show you the box is actually pretty unusual it's longer than your usual than your usual smartphone box this is something that I think that they wanted to do to kind of make themselves different from the rest of the pack that you'll be seeing here so yeah it's a pretty big long box that's what she said anyway uh, aside from that, you have the usual packaging, which I'm guessing this is the documentation that will come with the device. Uh, usual quick start guide, manual, and warranty information. Uh, do set that aside. I doubt that most of you are going to read that, but keep it. And then you have the phone itself. Now we're going to be skipping past this thing, but here is the Oppo Reno. Uh, we're going to dig through the box and see what else they have for us. Aside from that, you have a jelly case, which is kind of similar to what you saw with the Oppo F11 Pro, uh, that frosted jelly case that they had. And then you have a pair of headphones, which is kind of reminiscent of what Apple does with their set of headphones. You have the charging brick, which I'm guessing is Vuk, but it doesn't have any branding whatsoever. Uh, we'll have to confirm what this charging unit actually is and then you have a USB Type-C cable and last thing in the box is a SIM ejector tool. So that's pretty much everything that you'll find inside the box of the Oppo Reno. So let's move on and give you guys a closer look of the device itself. So we're back here at the home studio to give you guys a closer look at the Oppo Reno and the first thing I've got to say is that it looks absolutely fantastic. You've got a glass body with a metal frame like most phones are rocking nowadays, but I really like how that central line kind of pulls you in and actually that was the main point of having it. We were able to talk to one of Oppo's industrial designers, Sophia She, I hope I didn't butcher her name, and she told us that they drew inspiration from architectural marvels that have leading lines and that we can expect the same symmetry in their devices moving forward. But let's get back to the phone. The Reno has the right amount of curvature to it to make it rest easily in the palm of your hand and has a certain heft to it weighing in at 185 grams. This is much lighter than the quote-unquote pro version of this device, the Reno 10X, which weighs in at 215 grams. I also like it that the rear of the phone is pretty much flush save for the tiny bump and I kind of forgot Oppo's marketing jargon for it, but it does serve an important purpose. It protects the cameras from getting scratches in case you're one of those brave ones who uses their phone without a case. But I definitely recommend using that case with the Oppo Reno. By the way, you guys always ask for shots of the phone using the case, so here it is without it, and here it is with the included case as a comparison. Oh, and I forgot to mention that there is a cutout for the pop-up camera, but more on that later. For a quick tour of the phone, you've got the power button on the right side of the device, the volume rocker and access to the SIM tray on the left, which means that on the bottom you have the headphone jack, speakers, and a USB-C port. As you might have guessed, the Reno is pretty much all screen with a screen to body ratio of 93.1%. It measures in at 6.4 inches and has a resolution of 1080 by 2340 or full HD plus and is an OLED panel, which means you're gonna have a great time watching videos on this device if you're a YouTube junkie like I am. Just a quick plug, since I'm showing a trailer for Cyberpunk 2077, if you want to check out our top picks from E3 2019, click on the eye on the corner of the screen. Plus, do you think that Keanu is breathtaking too? Since you have an OLED display, you also have an in-display fingerprint scanner on the Reno, and it's been pretty accurate so far, 
but we'll see how it actually holds up as we use this device as our daily driver. Now I'm pretty sure you've seen it in photos and on YouTube before, but one of the main reasons you've got an almost all screen display on this phone is because of the pop-up camera that we've seen on devices like the Oppo F11 Pro and other phones out in the market. The mechanism for the pop-up camera isn't at all different from what we've been seeing in the past and the folks over at Oppo do say that it's more of an aesthetic choice to make them stand out from the pack. I mean, come on, seriously, doesn't this remind you of a shark spin? Plus, it makes us want to sing, baby shark doo 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 doo, baby shark doo 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 doo. Okay, fine, I'm gonna stop now, but I'm sure you have LSS as well, which means I've done my job here. The camera on that fin is at 16 megapixels and an aperture of f2.0 and so far we're liking the results that we've gotten. We also kind of miss out on showing you video samples from the cameras so here's a sneak peek of what the front camera can do in terms of video. Now you've got dual rear cameras that consist of a 48 megapixel main camera at f1.7 that works in tandem with a 5 megapixel depth sensor. So far the image quality looks pretty good from what we've taken so far but there are some additional features that we haven't been able to test out so you're gonna have to stay tuned to see how legit that night mode on this device is. Oh, and unlike the 10 times version of the Reno you're only limited to 2 times optical zoom here which is still better than nothing. Here's a quick peek on what the rear cameras can do in terms of video. Under the hood of the Oppo Reno is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 processor that's paired with 6GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. We've had plenty of experience with this processing package before and it's good enough for day-to-day -day tasks and gaming shouldn't be a problem as well, but I'll make a separate gaming review just in case you want to see the numbers. The Reno runs on Android Pie 9.0 with Color OS 6 on top of it, and keeping the lights on for this device is a 3765mAh battery that kind of falls short of the 4000mAh norm that we've been seeing in devices recently, but you should still be able to get about a day and a half's worth of running time with this phone depending on your mileage. Now for the most important bit, the price. The Oppo Reno is priced at 26,990 and is available for pre-orders starting June 15 to 20 at any of Oppo's stores. We'll reserve our judgment for our pros and cons segment, so stay tuned for that one as well. Before we end this video, just another quick reminder that we have a giveaway for the Redmi Note 7. The links are in the description down below of how you can join this giveaway. But you have to hurry because we are drawing the winner on Sunday, June 16. So that's pretty much it for me. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss out on the next ones. If you have any questions or any comments, just leave them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to unbox.ph. Plus, follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie. Peace. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.